why we turned out to be the number one in this market in Europe. We have a very different mindset from other companies because we really care about our vehicles. So we really want to challenge ourselves. We want to challenge the industry. We're not a scooter company, we are a mobility company. Yeah, you feel a bit like a modern cowboy. Tier wants to revolutionize how we get around, without pollution, without having to own a vehicle. The startup has certainly changed the streetscape in its native Berlin. It's the issue of the 21st century. I can create impact with building a company. Just create massive impact and, and that's, that's what makes me happy, my family happy, if we, if we can uh, contribute a little bit to, to stop climate change. When you think about what drives change, so first of all, you need some kind of innovation. The second one is you need capital. Lawrence Leuschner co-founded Tier as an e-scooter rental firm in 2018. Investors pumped in some 300 million euros. By 2021, Lawrence's company was employing more than 900 people in over 100 cities in 12 countries. Money means for me that you have the ability um, to, to do what you want. Yeah? And it gives you a certain amount of freedom. So we raise capital from investors and now we have the freedom to decide. Now we can really think the whole idea even bigger. For a big ambition, you need quite some capital and, and, and the mission is, is very big what we have. It's Monday morning in Tier's central Berlin depot. Maxi Fit is collecting freshly charged batteries from the warehouse and loading up his electric cargo bike. The swappable battery system means Tier can keep its fleet up and running without having to bring back every exhausted scooter to be charged before it can be used again. So, All right, let's get this let's ship started. Maxi's job is to ensure that the fleet of scooters is accessible and in working order so that Tier customers can locate and rent them via mobile app. The latest scooter models include onboard helmets to help address safety concerns. When one of the 6,000 Tier e-scooters needs attention, employees like Maxi are on the scene to get it working again. It's no easy task, even with an electric-assisted bike. You work up a sweat, of course, but exercise is good for you, as we all know, and it's fun. You can see that the rush hour traffic's a bit heavy here. It really helps to stay chilled when I can use these bike lanes, too. This is one of those really annoying cases where someone just parks wherever they want, which really defeats the object of the bike lane. Yeah, you feel a bit like a modern cowboy doing this. It sort of fits the company name, too. Tier means animal in German. I think that everyone working here is inspired by sustainability. You wouldn't do it otherwise. Whether it's management or a driver like me, we all follow the same goal. Sustainability is a key part of Tier's business model and development strategy. Early versions of the e-scooters had to be rounded up every day and driven back to base in trucks, which did not sit well with zero emission transport ideals. The current model is the fifth version in the last two years. That's no surprise when the CEO has a perfectionist's eye for detail. Why we turned out to be the number one in this market in Europe. We have a very different mindset from other companies because we really care about our vehicles. So we built this vehicle and figured out that we have to really make the stem more proof. Um, if you drive down the, the curbstone here, 
you have bigger wheels of 13 inch, it's no problem to drive down here. If you have smaller ones, it gets really uh, uncomfortable and also dangerous. So that's a safety, but also convenience factor. Um, you have two brakes, yeah. The first scooter generation had one brake. They're like really good brakes. <clears throat> While Lawrence mulls more possible improvements, Maxi is making sure the current models are okay. All right, this is the less fun part of my job. I've located a scooter that's been left in a park, and now we're going to have to find it. The scooter should be around here somewhere. Let's make it beep. I reckon it must be right here. Bingo. It's often a bit of a wild goose chase, but we never leave a scooter behind. We've got GPS and we can track each scooter. Maxi is doing an awesome job to make sure that everything is uh, working perfectly in the city. But yeah, I mean, we have great ambitions on sustainability as part of our DNA. We always challenge ourselves the whole time. For example, TIR is working to improve its charging network and develop battery swap systems to use in the e-mopeds it now has on offer. Putting up public battery swap stations would allow customers to recharge their scooters on the fly. It would also mean less need for cargo bike-based servicing and save energy. It's one example where we're really focusing really hard to improve the sustainability of our operations and we really want to reduce also the, the, the energy consumption and the resources that are used to drive a vehicle. How much energy is used to transport people? I mean, we're going very, very fast, so we call our value here Trailblaze, so we really want to challenge ourselves. We want to challenge the industry. We, we have a lot of respect. We don't have fear of the big companies, of like the Daimlers and, and Volkswagens. We will continue to innovate and uh, we will also innovate more vehicles because we're not a scooter company, we are a mobility company. TIR's search for better forms of urban electromobility means it's testing and helping to develop micro vehicles in cooperation with a range of other companies. Lawrence Leuschner's share in TIR has been put at about 40 million euros, but he's donated it all to an investment fund he set up called Blue Impact. It's designed to help startups that push forward sustainable practices around the world. The TIR CEO says he's not interested in personal wealth. I don't want to be on that path because it's a never-ending story. It doesn't fulfill you with like love and, and all the, the great positive vibes you want to have. So for me, freedom is the most important uh, value in my personal and family value system and when you can do what you want and for me the biggest impact then is to support other people who have an, have an idea, who have a mission, who have a vision to really create something that stops climate change and supporting those people that's the joy that I get and it's much more than if I would buy me a Porsche. In fact, Lawrence doesn't want to own any kind of car. He doesn't think it would benefit his own freedom of mobility in a city like Berlin. And then the freedom shrinks because you don't have the freedom to go uh, and park everywhere because everywhere it's like slammed and you don't have any parking lot. And you think, oh, I'm going to have a nice ride through the city Friday afternoon, 5 o'clock in my convertible. <laughs> it's not fun anymore. I mean, you're standing in a traffic jam. We just have to build better solutions. Let's use all these cool new vehicles and they give me so much freedom. This new kind of freedom is winning over more and more people for TIR in terms of customers, investors and partnerships. The more money the company makes, the more Lawrence can put into the Blue Impact Venture Fund to help other people build businesses that positively affect people's lives and the planet in general. Money gives you a certain amount of freedom and um, I think that, that connection of autonomy um, um, to, really, to really create impact and being ambitious, that's, like, that's, the, that's the area where I feel really comfortable. Lawrence Leuschner is opening up new possibilities with his drive to make mobility sustainable. 
And by pushing the profits back into other progressively minded startups, he is helping to empower a new business model that could get far more people on board with making our way of life more sustainable. Dump the car and get on your scooter. So, what do you think our cities need, Tier or Tesla? Let us know in the comments.